Coach Moo, Top Flight Sports Performance. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Nike Air Zoom Super Rep 3. Really like this shoe. Um, Nike's been doing a nice job of producing some quality training shoes lately. So I, I know I say that a lot, but I think they're finally listening to what people want and are giving it to them. So, um, Mesh upper, midsole is um, foam and then Nike Zoom Air, and then you've got a rubber outsole. The patterning is pretty nondescript. I mean, some of it's for linear movement and a little bit um, for lateral, but um, you know, the big features are, you know, the big grooves for flexibility. This is definitely your, your prototypical cross-training shoe. Great for lifting. Um, if, if you're a hardcore lifter, this is not your shoe. Um, just, just looking at the drop, it's a, it feels very tall, um, but once you start doing things, you don't really notice. And actually, they, they built it specifically to have more support for lateral movement, which I actually have to agree with, um, with one small exception. I'll get to that in a bit. So um, for me, you know, I, I work with a lot of athletes. I'm 52, I still compete um, and I still train. I spend a lot of time jumping and doing explosive movements. And that's a four foot area type thing. Um, I know when you land, you use the whole foot, totally get it, agree with that. But a lot of times when you're, when you're jumping, um, you spend time on that toe to, um, you know, front of the toe to the midfoot area. And this is finally a shoe that has the cushioning that's the same on the front side as it is on the back side. I really like that a lot. Um, I'm 52, I don't wanna feel a workout three days after I've had it. Um, the cushioning definitely helps with that. So, um, four foot cushioning, outstanding. Toe box, a little wide. That's the only knock that I have on the shoe actually. Um, my foot just moved around a little too much when I was moving um, laterally or even diagonally pushing off. I, I really like to have that locked in feel. Um, it's not a narrow fit. It, it's, it's, um, it's not a wide fit, but it definitely is not narrow. Toe box is wide. Um, it is a true size fit. I'm a size 14, so um, you know, almost a little bit too much room, but it, it, it was manageable. It, it, was, it, was, it wasn't spot on, but it, it wasn't that far off. So, um, like I said, I mean, um, I felt comfortable using it to lift. Um, I could use it, I definitely could use this to run on a tre treadmill um, outside a little bit not 5K, 10K type shoe, but if, if you're doing some short sprints, excellent shoe for that. Plyometrics, this shoe is actually made for, the, you know, for that type of movement. A lot of um, single leg and double leg jumps, the, um, great shoe for that. Price point, $120, which I think is reasonable. They have all kinds of cool colorways. Um, they had a white and a, a green or volt is primarily white. And then the Zoom Air is um, that green or volt. Pretty cool. I would think it'd get dirty um, quickly. But from an aesthetic standpoint, they've got some different options. And they're cool. Um, so anyway, I like the shoe from an aesthetic standpoint, a functionality standpoint. The fit um, outside of the toe box I think it's good, so I'd give that a push. But overall, an excellent shoe. Um, I enjoyed giving it a test drive. I hope if you purchase the shoe that you enjoy it as well. Um, please subscribe. Those of you who have already subscribed, thank you very much for your time and support. 
I will continue to do shoe reviews and put them out. I'm getting close to 50 now, um, 50 shoe reviews. So um, those of you that have been here from the start, thank you very much. Those that are new to, um, you know, seeing my reviews, welcome aboard. So um, again, thank you. This is the Nike Air Zoom Super Up 3. When your day, talk to you soon.